Are you thinking of getting the sport side cases for your Harley Davidson Pan America? If so, you may have some questions about them. Let's see if I can help with some answers. Welcome back to my garage, everybody. In this video, I'm going to be going over the good and the not so good aspects of the Harley Davidson Pan America sport side cases. So why would you even consider these side cases as opposed to some of the others that are available? And I think the main reason is going to come down to the aesthetics of them, the looks. If you're not a fan of the utilitarian look of traditional aluminum adventure bike style side cases, these certainly give you an alternative to that with a sleeker, more sport touring kind of look. Another advantage with these cases is they help to give you a slimmer rear end profile. I'm talking about the bike's rear end profile with the sport side cases, the overall width edge to edge is just under 38 inches. Now, while that is not as wide as if you had the aluminum style adventure cases, which put the total width over 40 inches, it is still kind of wide, especially if you're comparing it to a Harley Davidson touring bike with its hard bags, which comes in at about 34 inches. Another advantage of these cases compared to the aluminum adventure style cases is going to be the price. For 2022, Harley Davidson has these listed at about $800 for the set. Now, while that certainly isn't cheap, it is less expensive than the aluminum adventure style cases. And then you have to factor in a couple hundred dollars in mounting hardware for them on top of that. Which brings us to one aspect of these cases that is both good and not so good. And that's how they attach to the bike. It's good in that there's no additional hardware that you need to buy. The mounts are already part of the bike. And they attach and detach in just a matter of seconds. Not so good because the integrated mounts are just plastic. So even in a minor tip over, it's very likely that something is going to give and break. Either the plastic on the case itself or this plastic mounting tray. So for tip over durability, the advantage is definitely going to go to the aluminum adventure style cases and their respective brackets that they come with. Keep that in mind if you're taking this bike on anything other than paved roads. On the top of each case, you have your key cylinder, two latches and a release handle. Another good aspect of these cases is that key cylinder comes disassembled with the various parts that you need to put it together to set that it matches the key you already have for your bike. So you don't have to carry an extra key just for your cases. But the instructions that they come with on how to do that could be better. Would actually recommend that you look up a video on how to do it. That's gonna be a lot more helpful. So unfortunately, I did not film when I put these bags together originally. I don't have any videos on that part, sorry. To open the bag, you push down on the key cylinder which releases this latch. Now, if we were to turn it to the lock position, that stops you from pushing down on the key cylinder, keeps you from popping this release latch. So we'll go ahead, unlock it, push down, and then pull that release latch to open the bag. Now, as you see, once I have it in the unlock position, I can take the key out, I can leave the bag securely closed, but with the locks unlocked if I want, which is something you can't do with some of the adventure style cases. Now to remove the case from the bike, we need the key. We have to turn it to the release position, which pops this latch. Lifting that latch, then pops the release handle. Pull that release handle up, and now it is released from the bike, and you can just lift it up and out of the way. Putting it on is just as easy. Bottom of the bag has this little foot that slips over this piece coming off the passenger foot peg. That gets lined up there. And then of course these hooks get lined up with the respective mounts on that plastic tray. You just gotta line that all up. Close the handle. Put the key back to the unlock or lock position and then you can push that latch back down and there you go. All right, so let's talk about the reason we even get luggage for our motorcycle, right? That is so that we can put stuff in them. 
The Harley-Davidson Sport side cases are different sizes for each side of the bike. The one on the left hand side is the larger at 35 liters of capacity. The one on the right hand side of the bike is, has a cutout uh, to make room for the exhaust and is smaller at only 30 liters of capacity. Now, although on paper the right side case is only 5 liters smaller with this exhaust cutout, it does really seem to limit what you can put in here compared to the left side case, the larger case. So let's start with what's kind of the standard test for motorcycle luggage, and that is, can you fit a full-size helmet, a full-face helmet? Let's find out. Okay. We'll start with a Bell qualifier, size medium. All right, that size medium bell fits in there rather easily. Showy RF 1200, size large. Showy looks like it's a pretty good fit in there as well. NHJC ARFA 11 in a size extra large. All right, this extra large shell is a little bit of a tighter fit, but it still gets in there. An Arai XD4 in a size extra large. Now I think unsurprisingly, the Arai with the peak on there is not quite gonna make it. Let's see, could we go in that way? No. So that's a no-go on an extra large adventure style helmet. And just for fun, let's try a Bell MX-9 in a size medium. All right, again, we can't go that way with the ADV style, but that looks, hey, look at that. So a size medium off-road or ADV style helmet looks like it'll work. So yes, as you see, it can fit a full face helmet depending on the style and size of the helmet. What if you're commuting to the office? Can we fit a laptop in here? So this laptop, we can lay it in flat like so and still close the lid. We can even have it up right there. Of course, obviously, we'd, I would recommend having it in some sort of padded case to keep it from getting bounced around. All right, what else can we fit in here? Some dirty hiking boots, three liter bottle of water, spare helmet visor, extra gloves, and still a little bit more room to get some more things in there. Now, of course, these cases are side opening and with the bike upright on its center stand like this, that's not too much of an issue. But when I have the bike leaned over on the side stand, and that's why I use the right side case for things that I wanna keep easy access to when I'm out on a ride. Because when I stop and with the bike leaned over on the side stand, this case doesn't tilt towards the ground and things are less likely to fall out. Now these cases do come with this little cargo net inside that you can put up. And that kind of helps to keep things from falling out on you when the bike is leaned over like that. Another option you can add are the liners that are designed to go with these cases. They're about $100 for the pair. Each one is sized to go into its respective case. And they're pretty nice. They got a little zipper compartment on the front. You can put smaller things in there. And then you can unzip the whole thing. Pack up whatever you need to take with you. And each one fits right inside the case. And when you get to where you're going, 
rather than taking the whole, especially if you're on a uh, overnight trip and you pack some stuff, instead of taking the entire side case with you or taking all your stuff out, you can just grab the case. It's got a nice carry handle, comes with a shoulder strap as well if you want to use that, and you got all your stuff. Another important thing to consider with any hard luggage on your motorcycle is that you want it to be waterproof so that your stuff stays dry regardless of what kind of conditions you're riding in. To see how the sport side cases hold up, I put a paper towel in each case so I could test and see if any water gets inside where my stuff would be. Today's forecast comes from some light rain on and off throughout the day. All right, it's looking good, still dry inside. Looking at the weather, steady showers are expected today. All right, the right side case stayed dry, but on the left one, you can see some water pulled in the lid when I open it. Folks, today's forecast calls for heavy downpours and localized flooding. Be careful out there. All right, the right side case still remained dry with just some drops coming in from me opening the lid. But on the left side again here, you can see we have a pool of water in the lid. While nothing seemed to get where our stuff would be here, I can't say I'd have confidence that these bags would keep everything completely dry if I was riding all day in a heavy downpour. Harley-Davidson advertises that these cases are indeed waterproof. And I'm not so sure that I agree with that. Sure, perhaps water resistant. You could say that me spraying right at the opening with a direct stream from a hose is more intense than anything you're going to find as you're riding out in real world conditions. But given this, I'm not so sure I would trust sensitive electronic devices or other things that absolutely could not get wet in these cases without some additional protection. In fact, this is another good use case for those saddlebag liners. While these themselves, of course, are not waterproof, the zipper does seal up nice and it's multiple layers of fabric here that it should help to protect your stuff from any little bit of water that happened to leak in. It's kind of like doubling up on face masks to help prevent the spread of COVID. Um, Mike, yeah, let's stick with motorcycles, okay? Let's not stir the pot with things you're not qualified to discuss. Can we talk about what kind of oil is best? Man, you really love pushing buttons, don't you? Loud pipes save lives! Let's just get back to talking about the side cases, okay? Okay. The other thing about these cases that uh, I'm less than thrilled about is the overall fit and finish. When I first put them on the bike, they looked nice and I was kind of impressed. But over time, I just noticed little things um, like the fitment of these aluminum panels on the case right. and the lids when closed seem to have some wiggle and play and that might be contributing to the water leaking issues and because of issues like that my overall opinion on these cases is they're okay kind of mediocre at best um, maybe i just have unrealistic expectations given the price point. Now again, $800 for the pair isn't exactly cheap, but when you consider that the side cases that come on Harley touring bikes, if you were to buy those separate by the time you buy all the hardware and the bags, you're looking at about $1,600 and up for the set. But at the end of the day, they look decent, they hold my stuff, they keep it mostly dry. But it does have me reconsidering. Perhaps I would have been better off with uh, the traditional ADV aluminum style cases, even though I myself not really as a fan of the uh, utilitarian look. But this may be a case, haha, see what I did there, uh, of where function outweighs form. So those are my thoughts, good and the not so good on the Harley Davidson Sports side cases. If you're looking for luggage and the sport side cases is something you've been considering, I hope this video uh, gave you some things to think about, gave you some things to look for as you consider if these are the cases that are right for you, or maybe you want to keep shopping around. In any case, thanks for watching and ride safe.